hygiene is an, an important aspect when it uh, comes to potty training because uh, we know this is also the period when children get a lot of diarrhea diseases. So in as much as you, the child will be taught uh, a little about wiping, that is a, a more complicated uh, instruction which will come a bit later. So the, the job of the instruction of wiping the child and cleaning after the potty use still falls on the caregiver at this point. So there is the issue that the child uses the potty and then a um, caregiver, the mother or whoever is caring for the baby, is able to wipe the child and to wash the child's hands as well as uh, the caregiver's hands. It's still too early for this child to be able to wipe themselves uh, adequately and to wash their hands properly. Uh, children still continue to wet their beds even up to five years of age and this is still considered normal. So potty training is basically for um, putting the child um, dry during the day which is what you aim to achieve first before you can go on to night. So even when you're doing potty training the child should still uh, sleep uninterrupted and not waking up uh, the child to go potty or go poop unless they wake themselves up and therefore you go take them to the potty. But uh, don't wake the child up for purposes of potty training. They can still have their training uh, panties or diapers for the night if they are not dry at night. Potty training basically should be something that uh, gets integrated to the other normal activities of the child, meaning that their eating patterns, their diet and uh, so on and so forth should continue as before even as we incorporate uh, potty training. Uh, because we are hoping that you're doing the correct diet, the correct feeding times and all that, so that should not be affected by body training at uh, any point. No restricting fluids, for instance, no restricting of foods because of body training. Children, of course, achieve different milestones at different times. It helps to assist the child and uh, attempt it as early as the child is ready, but it takes longer for children to achieve these milestones. Although, when a child continues to be wet, especially during the day up to above five years of age, it is considered a medical condition and at that point, you should seek the services of a pediatrician to find out. Because there are other conditions as well that will be present in a child that would now impede their uh, proper potty training and therefore they would continue wetting themselves. Potty training, just like other developmental milestones of children, is one of the I mean steps that are quite stressful to parents because they are probably have set timelines that they think that children should achieve it at. But I would encourage the parents to watch out for the readiness of the child. The fact that your firstborn achieved it at two years does not mean the second or third one will achieve it at the same. And so be guided by the child's the cues as we encourage them to gain it at the right time. Also not to be too tough on the children, no punishing is totally not uh, encouraged in this process of potty training.